Welcome back. It's that time when we get to hear what you, the viewers and uh, the listeners, uh, get to say about the kind of things that we've put on our website as we solicit or elicit your opinions on those issues. And joining me now is Aisha. Hello. Hi. Looking really resplendent and, and colorful. I love you. You look like a rainbow. You too. You look... <laughs> You're looking sweet this okay. evening. I told you already. You, you know, did, like, you did. All thank right. you. And so it's time to get into the most interactive segment around this time in Ghana. And you know how to join the conversation. It's on Facebook.com slash Joy News on TV. On Twitter is on Joy News on TV. And on WhatsApp, the number is 0560 Remember, do not call. Please just send a message, a beautiful message. Let's keep the sweet conversation going. All right. So veteran politician and former member of parliament for second day, Papu Usang Kuma says he is, in fact, he, he will become a former member at the end of the sixth parliament when it is uh, dissolved. And he says that he's honored to be mentioned by a cross-section of the public as a possible candidate for the position of Speaker of Parliament in the next administration. Even though there are many more names coming up for the various political offices, I want to know from you, what do you think about Pa, pa Usang Kuma as a candidate for Speaker? Uh, who? in your opinion, is best fit for the position of speaker in the incoming government. In my discussion with friends, I've always said that uh, Papa Osankoma is the best candidate. Uh, for one reason, I've always monitored proceedings in parliament and I realized that most of the time after people have given their joint debates, uh, after everybody has given their I mean, various arguments from both the opposition and um, the ruling party. I observed that, I always observed that the speaker, Mr. Doaja, who will ask uh, Mr. Papa, o Papa Osu and Kuman's opinion on the issue. It tells you that even though he did not contribute during the debate, but he has something extraordinary, and he's, uh, he's an authority when it comes to issues in Parliament. Well, um, this morning I heard Papa Usu Ankuma saying that, of course, he'll be I mean, he'll be happy if being elected as a, a Speaker of Parliament. But to me, I believe that um, there's one person in mind that is equal to, who, of course, to me, I believe that he'll be able to uh, do much, much better. I mean, if you look at his experience, if you look at his knowledge in terms of legal issues, I believe that. Uh, I mean, he stands tall ahead of all the people that I'm hearing that they are capable of, of handling that position. I believe that he, I mean, if you look at his vast knowledge in terms of uh, um, law, as I indicated earlier, I believe that he is the right person to handle that position because you cannot just, the fact that Papa Usiangama, he has been, uh, I, mean, in, I, mean, I mean, in parliament for quite a long time, doesn't, does not necessarily mean he will be able to do the job. Well, I don't know yet. I can't predict for Ekufuado. I don't know who Ekufuado might choose. Well, but I think that uh, Professor Michael Kwe has been in government for long. He has served the nation for long. He has been in parliament for long. But I think that maybe, in my view, maybe I think Ekufuado might choose him. I think Papa Uzankuma is, uh, is a noble man. He has served well. I mean, he stayed in parliament for long. I mean, when you hear from the people in Sekendi, I mean, they say good things about him. So I think he can also do the job, but the senior most level, <laughs> I mean, I think when you weigh them with percentage, I think uh, Professor Michael Kwe will be a little ahead of him. So very interesting comments uh, from the streets. But Araba, we've had some names coming up for the position of speaker and other uh, 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 ministries. Uh, let's check that out. Who and who? Indeed, as you were forward. talking, you know, a lot of people were throwing out uh, a lot of names. Papa Ankuma, Mike Okwe okay. uh, Senior. And uh, what we have learned is that Mike Okwe Senior is, uh, has okay. been, Professor Mike Okwe has been slated to be 
the yes, Speaker, Speaker of Parliament. Parliament. Okay. We are yet to confirm that, but our sources within the MPP tell us that is the case. Okay. Another name that has come up is uh, Ambrose Derry, who just regained his seat in Upper West. Right. He is slated uh, for the Interior Ministry. Ministry. Okay. Exactly. Right. Also, Ken Oforiata, you know him. He yes, was at the Electoral course. Commission during <laughs> the post election. Exactly. <laughs> he is heading to the Finance Ministry. Right. And we, we also understand that uh, the MP for Bimbela and yeah. Deputy Minority Leader Dominic Nituo is heading for the Defence Ministry. Ministry. So okay. as of now, those are the four names that, that our sources are. have disclosed to us. Very interesting names indeed and very experienced people uh, who are heading those very critical positions. Right, let's check what people are saying on Facebook if we have that. Right, so... We're trying, we'll, we'll bring the Facebook comments, but let's look at these personalities that I've mentioned. Have mentioned. I mean, uh, Professor Michael Quay, we, we call him uh, <laughs> Mr. Abu because and he, 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 he will look at the little, little, little things. He won't let them pass. Mm -hmm. And so anytime he sits in the chair, you know he was second deputy speaker he was. before he, he, was, indeed. he left Parliament. Professor Michael Quay um, has a lot of experience when it comes to yes, parliamentary work. Uh, he's been MP for the Dome Kwabanya area right. uh, for several uh, uh, um, um, terms, yeah. and uh, he handed over to Address Safo, yeah. and then subsequently was heading some committees within the, party. within the party. So he wields a lot of influence within the party, and he's said to be very close to the president elect as well. Right. So it's not quite surprising. It's not that surprising he's been at all. Selected and and for we that look position. forward to a very brilliant job because I know him to be a very experienced and, like I said, he won't let a, even a dot. Uh, pass. <laughs> he will check all of that before it passes. Let's check what's coming up on Facebook, Karaba. Well, Kwesi Boateng Aipa says, even though Papa Usan Kuma equally qualifies, I prefer Professor Aaron Michael Kwey. Professor commands respect and he's more than qualified for that position. Elias Suhari Natamale writes, all those tip for the speakership job are qualified. Let there be peace after the party settles on one of the frontliners. The MPP in government is here to deliver Ghana. Kofi Sam Klinsman says, it's obvious Professor Michael Kwe is a preferred candidate. And Ilyasu, uh, okay, I've read that already, but he says, uh, congrats to Ewuku, Jombwedu, Akomia, and Kabo. Nana Safo Adakwa writes, Papa is well uh, vested and has been in parliament for a very long time, and he's very influential. I believe he's the best for this position. Ayariga Samora writes, Professor Michael Kwe is the best, and that's all he says. Professor Michael Kwe is the best. Prince Nuruddin <laughs> Baumia writes, Papa Usan Kuma is competent, but I prefer Michael Kwe. And Kwame Leslie says, Professor Michael Kwe. Kofi Sam Klinsman writes, I'm also considering... <laughs> <laughs> That is a joke. Captain Smart for that position. <laughs> All right, Aisha. All right, so that's your opinion and you're entitled to it. Also, the small opposition parties have expressed their willingness to work with the incoming administration. The PNC, CPP and the PPP say they will welcome an opportunity to work with Nana Kufuado and his team. Question, is there any member or leader of a smaller opposition party you think will perform incredibly in the incoming government? Tell me about him and your reasons for that suggestion. Uh, somebody like um, Park Wissindum is a specialist. Uh, he's good. He's a good man. He has a lot of creative ideas and he can help. I can't talk about a specific uh, area, but with his vision and, 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 and with what he has in mind. You see, currently the man has opened a lot of jobs and he has uh, employed thousands of Ghanaians. So, well, if you ask me, Ministry of Employment, yeah. I remember as far back during the regime of Jerry Rawlings, he, was, he, he appointed um, his vice, Aka, from, uh, I think, another political party. So Aka was his vice. He's from different political parties. I also saw that when President Kufo was on the throne, he appointed persons like Malam Isa and then uh, the PPP uh, current uh, flag bearer. Uh, then pl the flag bearer of PPP, Mr. Papakwisi Indum. And when JM also came, I think that the PNC member of parliament, uh, the only PNC member of parliament, I think he was given some appointment that I stand to be corrected but then i know he was also so it's a norm it's something that is not new it's not a novelty but 
I think that, well, if there are other brain, high brain, good brain, nice gentlemen, people with experience, and they, are, they don't belong to your political party, and you think that they can add up and add something better to the betterment of the country and to the progress of the nation Ghana, I mean, it's welcome. May I think if Akufahado says you want all-inclusive government, there are certain opposition parties which I think they are very competent in certain areas, which if chosen, it will help the nation. Uh, Someone like Papa Kwesi Indom, the PPP uh, presidential aspirant, is very competent in terms of uh, if, you have to put him to, if you have, they are to put him in the area of um, works and housing. He's very competent because looking at his pedigree in society and what he has done for the economy, when he put in there, the, this unemployment situation may, may be solved. I think he has the cap capabilities to do that. Then when we talk of communication, I agree, Dr. Abu Sankara, the former CPP flag bearer is also very competent, I think, when choosing. All right, so Arba, what do you think about smaller parties joining the Nanado government? I think it would be a great idea to have an, an all-inclusive all -inclusive party. Government. A lot of the parties preach it, but they're yet to act really on it. Seen, yes, yeah, and so. that's the issue because everybody has some sort of competency or skills that Somewhere. they can bring to bear that, on governance. But, but I can trust that the MPP can do it because we've seen the MPP giving uh, Pakwisi Indom, Dr. Pakwisi Indom, the chance. That was in the Kufu administration. The Kufu administration. So that could be. Right. So let's check what you've been saying on Facebook. Kwisi Boata says, I will be glad if Dr. Pakwisi Indom is given the opportunity once again to serve an MPP. In his first ministerial appointment, he did quite well. Giving Nana Kunedu a deputy minister will not be bad. For the rest, they can best be there and put the government on its toes by critiquing them. Elias Oharuna Tamale, he says, the Nanado that I know will involve people according to their capabilities. He's a man of his words. But the NPP now in government ought to be careful this time around using Indum's conduct as a case study. Shreme Michael Kwabena says, for PPPs, Dr. Indum, CPP, if Dr. Sakara is still there, he's a good choice. And PNC's Al Hassan Azong. Those are some of the names uh, being mentioned from the smaller opposition parties. Now, finally, Christmas is nine days away. And as we try to replace our party paraphernalia with Christmas trees and other decorations, we want to put you in the Christmas mood and also have some fun as well by doing this i need you to sing me your favorite christmas carol Fall on your knees, oh ye the angels' voices, oh night divine, oh night when Christ was born, oh night divine, oh night, oh night divine. A long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible says, Mary born child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. I can hear the angels sing, a king was born today. The child who lives forevermore was born on Christmas Day. Felix Navidad, da 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 da. Felix Navidad, da 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 da. Felix Navidad, I don't know the lyrics. Felix Navidad. <laughs> All right, so some <laughs> sweet voices on the street. They're already Christmas. putting me into in the mood already. Yes. So what's your favorite Christmas carol? 
very simple song. I want to wish you a, a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> I want to. That is a very interesting one, right? Exactly. Let's check the picture of the day for this evening. So there's some comments coming in from Facebook. Quickly, let's check that. Kwesi Boate and Yepa says, the latest Christmas song goes like this. John 316. <laughs> and it's written three times. So you exactly. Sing that three times. Exactly. <laughs> and Kofi Sam I think that's the song of the day. Mm, and he says, my favorite Christmas song in words, Christmas. Yeah, Christmas, Onapo. Onapo. Christmas, Onapo. 2016 Christmas, they be. <laughs> <laughs> so those are interesting songs people are sending. Let's check a uh, picture of the day. Onapo Radio. <laughs> 44.4%. What 44.4%. We are in a comfortable lead. <laughs> <laughs> and we're certainly Ganyasa. going to be seeing a lot more of those oh, memes I was, on social I was media. I surprised one time when I saw, uh, what do you call it, the Muntier 3, what's yeah. their name? What's the name given to them? Um, Muntier 3? Uh, no, no, no. There's, there's this one. Anyway, so coming when I, I remember, I'll share with you. <laughs> All right, and that's how we wrap up for tonight. My name is Aisha Ibrahim. Remember, it's a Friday. Have fun. Mm -hmm.